Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys can already tell from the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of really, really cute hamster DIYs, primarily for Christmas. However, I do just want to point out there that all of the DIYs that I'm going to be making today, although I'm going to be making them Christmas themed, you guys can make them whatever theme that you want. You guys can make them natural themed. You guys can make them Valentine's Day, Halloween themed, whatever you want, just depending on the colors that you choose. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY safe hamster paint. So like I said if you guys want to do this for a natural cage theme you can totally make like a brown or like some green shades but today I'm going to be making mostly red and green shades because it's Christmas and I really want to make Rhino's Christmas cage so cute and so Christmassy so I just came up with some really cute DIYs and some of these I've literally never seen before I've never seen anybody else do them uh, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and get on to the video. Alrighty, so for this first DIY, we are going to be making a snowball hamster hideout. So I call it a snowball because it obviously looks like a big white ball and it is a hideout. And it's really easy to make. All you need is a balloon, toilet paper, and water because you're going to be pretty much paper macheing it onto a balloon. As you guys can see, I am just blowing up the balloon to the size I want the hideout to be and then I just tied it off and then the next step is to go to your sink and start putting toilet paper onto the balloon. So you just want to rip off small little pieces and press them onto the balloon. Make sure that they're pretty damp, not so so wet. I did get a lot of mine a little too wet but you just kind of want it to be damp enough that you can press it into the balloon. So make sure that when you're doing this, you're getting a pretty thick layer on there. The thicker, the better, because the more thick it is, the better it's going to stand up and hold up. So yeah, I made mine a little thin, but that's okay. Um, another thing that you guys can do is actually use colored tissue paper. And so if you wanted to make it look like a pumpkin for Halloween, you could use orange tissue paper or whatever you want. So yeah, now that I'm done, I just let it dry. Once the balloon was done drying, it took about a day for it to dry completely. I just stuck the balloon with a needle and then I just decided to cut it with scissors because that worked easier. And then it's super easy, just pull the balloon out and you kind of have your hideout. You're just going to take scissors and you're going to cut the bottom of the balloon to make it into more of a hideout shape and so it can kind of stand up a little bit easier. And then you're just going to want to cut out a little door for your hamster to go in and out. And there you guys go, you have a really cute snowball hideout for your hamster. For this next DIY, it does involve non-toxic paint, which I'm going to be making right now in my kitchen. Um, because I don't have any non-toxic paint at the moment and I thought that it would just be a good thing to show you guys how to make non-toxic paint for your own DIYs because you definitely don't want to be using toxic paint that your hamster could potentially chew on and it could damage them. So let's just go ahead and get into the recipe and then we are going to be applying that to the tube. Okay, so for this recipe, I personally just found it online. What you will need is a one-third cup of flour one third cup of salt and a one third cup of water and then whatever food dye you want. So like I personally use red and green but you can use whatever colors you want. By the way, this actually did end up being a little bit more chunky than I was expecting it to be. Uh, but it still turned out really cool and it actually gave the tube that I ended up painting it on a, like, a silvery um, glittery shine. I think it was because of the salt. It was a little clumpy like I mentioned, but I really liked the sparkle it gave and you know it's completely non-toxic so I have no problems with it. But as you guys saw, I just took the mixture and I poured it into two different cups and then into those two different cups I just put in the food dye because I wanted to make one red and one green. Thank you. 
Alright, so as I kind of already hinted, this is going to be the tube that we are going to be making next with the paints that we just used. As you guys can see, there is that little bit of glitter in the paint, which is kind of cool. It is a little chunky though, like I mentioned. So taking the paint that you just made, you are just going to paint it into little stripes and it kind of makes it look like a green and red striped candy cane in a way, that's kind of what I was going for. Uh, this paint, you are going to have to paint on a couple of different coats because it is just a little bit difficult to work with, but uh, I got it to look really, really nice just by doing a couple of different coats. Something that I personally would suggest uh, looking back on this DIY, I would definitely suggest doing like all of the green stripes first, letting that dry and then doing the red just so that the colors don't accidentally mix like what kind of happened here. Um, so yeah, I just went ahead and did all the green stripes and then I went back and did the red ones and I think I ended up doing about two or three different coats of each color, but I think that it turned out looking really good. So for this next DIY, we're going to be making a snowman boredom breaker. So this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. It took me like no time to make and it looks really, really cute. So all you're going to need is a basic tube. You're going to need two stick chews, a Sharpie marker, some scissors, and a couple of your hamster's favorite treats, I suggest sunflower seeds because they are black, and then an orange sharpie as well. So with your scissors, you're just going to want to make a small little hole for each of the um, little chew wood sticks for the side, so it kind of looks like the snowman's arms. You don't want to make the holes too big, you want them to be kind of tight in there so that the sticks don't fall or anything. Then taking your sharpie marker, you can just make two little dots for your snowman's eyes. If you're worried about your hamster chewing on it or anything, then you can just not put those on or you can actually make the seeds, the eyes as well like we're going to do with the buttons. Um, but personally, I'm not worried about Rhino chewing this at all, he's not a big chewer. And personally, it's just not a lot of sharpie so it's not going to make your hamster sick. Uh, and then with your scissors you can just make little indents for the buttons this is where the border breaker part actually comes in and for each of the buttons just make a little indent and insert a little sunflower seed something else that you guys can do to make this uh, less Christmassy is you can actually just not draw the snowman face on there and stuff the top with hay and then put in a couple more of those sticks all around the top and you can make this look like a tree almost, if you guys get what I'm saying. Like more of the sticks and hay coming out of the top. I wish that I had hay to stuff into this one. That will really just add to even more of the boredom breaker effect for your hamster. So I would definitely suggest doing that if you have any hay. Or you can just put a bunch of different treats or foraging things in the middle. And it works amazing. So yeah, I really, really like this. Alright you guys, so that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing these DIYs. I know that there weren't too many of them, like there were only three, which I wish that I had more to do, but these were just kind of the ones that I thought of. If you guys think of any other Christmassy DIYs or any other DIYs in general, feel free to just comment them down below and I will look at them and maybe I will even make some more um, or just give other people ideas. If you do actually end up making any of these DIYs, feel free to tag me on Instagram at fuzz.ball.hams. You can also feel free to follow me on there if you want to see a bunch of different cute pictures of Rhino and just different hamster updates and things like that. But without further ado, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!